says it's working, but I don't see it working yet. Yep, it says on mine it is. Well, I'm going to try to pull it up. I have to wait for it to load. And so it's always want a little to, bit behind us. I want to interact as there. Send a shepherd to shepherd us. Oh, deliver us. Oh, okay. I see you. Hey. What up? Do you like my mugs? Mug. Big hug mug. Apparently, the big hug mug is from something. But I don't know I what just, the big hug mug is. I just found it at an apartment gotcha. I used to live. I was in charge of an apartment building. And so I saw it and liked it and kept it for myself. Tee. <laughs> Oops. Trying to get my thing to stand up here. Ooh. Swipe. My table. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, friends. My table's rocking. Ooh, somebody's watching us. Hello, All person. Right. Hello. Yes, welcome to the Facebook Live. We are getting ready to start episode 31 recording of Woo. Sis and Big Pops Culture. And we're going to jump Yeet. into it. Yeet. Okay, whoop, go. Whoop. Go, you Dad. Ready? Lead All right. us. As soon as this car goes by outside with this <laughs> like <laughs> with no muffler. <laughs> so. Dad, mm. loud pipes mm. save lives. That's right. Welcome, Internet, to episode 31 of Sis and Big Pops Culture. I am Big Pops Todd Turner, also known as the Internet's Mosaic Fan Art. <laughs> the Internet's. I know. Not to be confused with... <laughs> uh, whatever. I'm everybody's Mosaic Fan Art. The Internet's. And I... I are you done? Man. I'm sorry. No, keep going. I'm done. Okay. I am Hannah Jo, a.k.a. Sis, and together we are an adult daughter and father duo. We dive into all things geek, nerd, and fandom. Every episode is family-friendly. So Keeping it clean. Woo! Yee yee. So we... I don't... Why am I making the, like... Break it down. What's the plan, I'm making weird sounds today. So, the plan, my dear papa... Papa, Papa, we are, <laughs> need to watch that again. I know. We are um, going to talk about some news. Both of us have lengthy lists of news, so we'll see. And then we're going to talk about what we're binging. We're going to go over your pool list. We'll explain what that is when we get there. And we're going to talk. We didn't have a chance to read a comic, though next week is our one-year anniversary I know. And so we do have a comic to read then. And mm -hmm. then we're going to so talk, so talk about episode Loki. Two of episode Loki. two of and Loki. And the Prince of Egypt. Review a movie. Yes. Ugh, I love that movie. Oh, can, before we pop in, can I tell you why I know specifically that this is the week before our podcast why launched? Is that? Because I had a Snapchat memory a couple days ago of me explaining how we just sat upstairs oh, on the ground and screwed it up and screwed it up and i was like the first podcast we were both so warm because we were in the attic and we didn't have the fan on because i was like you can't have the fan on because of the sound quality i can't oh, believe man. it and it didn't work and it didn't work we had to it redo didn't it save. we had to do it again you made me the most excellent gin and tonic to drink after i screwed up so thank we're, you for being gracious with me you're Papa. welcome you're welcome. Anyway, you. so let's get news. right into it. News, news, news. 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 Typewriter. <laughs> let's just in from the nerd, nerd news desk. Todd Turner <laughs> reporting from Mount Sterling, Kentucky. First off, do you see the new Free Guy uh, trailer? No. Dad, we've yeah. been stoked for Free Guy for how long? Like a year and a half? Well, it's supposed to come out December 2020. But it was so funny because during quarantine, they... They kept, they filmed a whole bunch of when the movie like would come out. No, it would be like at the end of the trailer, it would go, Ryan Reynolds would go, coming soon, December, or it would be like June 2020. Coming soon, October 2020. <laughs> you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I literally forgot to write down what time, when it comes out. But Okay, well, I, I'm stoked. I can't wait. I, I didn't realize that he like produces it, produced it and all that kind of stuff. But. I didn't know. Tom Hiddleston is an executive producer of the Loki TV show. Well, heck yeah. How do you think they get a guy to come back and do it? Hey, we'll offer you credit. Anyway, I, saw, I watched the new trailer and it looks really funny. Okay, I haven't so watched I the trailer. I can't wait to see it. I'm mm -hmm. stuck. I want to see that one in the theaters. I still 
dad this what? is ridiculous but i still have ridiculous. not seen a movie in the movie theater in over a year it'll happen i'm never gonna go see a movie in a movie theater ever again at this point that's what it feels yeah, like will. stop it what else you got um i'm gonna give you a hint do 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 the monsters they're doing a reboot of the monsters like a tv show or a movie a uh, tv show i think <laughs> that's the one guy the dad used to always do that i loved um, him it's directed by rob zombie is that the same guy who directed oh. it before no rob zombie's like a horror flick guy oh well it's i don't you your eyeballs got really big this he's is, like I bite heads off of things and does I zombie watch, movies no and yeah stuff. so rob zombie is gonna be the director of the Monsters okay so i'm reboot. interested on how that's gonna turn out because he's all blood and guts and gore but is it monsters gonna, is not no it's a comedy yeah i mean it's, yeah i honestly like it better than the adams family i do because okay. their car was so awesome they had a hot rod <laughs> car it was so awesome i loved it i just remember the time you played that song uh oh, and you, Uma and you, she wants to dance like Uma yes Thurman. and you kept saying i love this and i'm like you know that's from a tv show right they sampled like, that what are you from talking the monsters about? that's they the best part of that song too i know <laughs> it's the best part of that song <clears throat> do you Ooh, see where steven spielberg is now is this part of yours yeah keep going so Amblin, which is like his big studio or whatever, yes. signed a deal with Netflix. Apparently, it's like extra, apparently, LOL. Um, so it's, We are, we are re investigative journalists. Um, actually, um, it's supposed to, apparently, again, I, yeah, me, Hannah Turner, investigative journalist, LOL, not at all. Um, Go. He supposedly did something to encourage the Oscars not to allow Netflix. Okay. I read that an Academy that, Award and he denied that. Yeah. And that was, just, but like, but like there's speculation that this happened and his people are like, no, but like, come on, my guy. It's Steven Spielberg. Who cares? Can you imagine what it means to get him? I mean, I literally need you to know. I only wrote this down because I knew that you would think it was cool. Absolutely, it's cool. I, it has I'm a lot just, to do. I mean, I'm up in here like, okay, yeah, because, <laughs> and here's the deal. I don't think there's. They haven't said whether these movies that, um, his that he produces are mm. going to be like, you know, how like HBO does the. It comes out this day on our streaming service, it's and out for, it's which is why we have to watch in the Heights because we and get it's to watch in the it theater. Yeah, and it's in the theater too. So they're saying that that may happen here as well. Ooh, that would be so, dope. But, who knows? Who knows? Netflix feels bigger to me than HBO Max does. Really? Like, I feel like they have a more, like, because when I think about, like, content-wise, I just feel like Netflix well, is, like, the king of all of them in regards to content. It'd be Except different if, maybe a, Hulu. if a at and hadn't bought Warner Brothers and, you know, all that got funneled mm. into HBO Max. They would mm. be completely different. I just well, feel like they, the Netflix has, like, the endless scroll. Gotcha. Like I they actually watch... have Warner Brothers television shows. Really? We'll talk about that. Okay. Yeah. What um, else you got? Speaking of uh, Steven Spielberg, mm -hmm. he is doing a remake of West Side Story. Hmm. I wonder if he feels pretty. <laughs> Guess when it comes out. What? Thanksgiving? December. Oh, Christmas? <laughs> is that going to be like a Christmas movie we have to go see? All right. For those of you who don't yeah. know, our family usually goes and sees a movie every Christmas day. I love, so, I love you being like Thanksgiving. Uh, well, because that would be a Thanksgiving. We do sir? that too. We go see it on Thanksgiving as well. I, I mean, me and you would. Yeah. Which, thanks, thanks for, thanks, Dad. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay and, and I, pity I pity any girl who isn't me girl today. Who isn't me today? Do you know how uh, people my guys my age? You know why they know that song? Why? Because in the movie Anger Management. Oh yes, they Jack sing that. Jack Nicholson makes. Yeah. Uh, Adam Sandler sing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sing that song is so funny. Okay, so Maria is Rachel Zegler. And she is, are. she's also going to be in the new Shazam movie. Well, well she lying. was like, it's like her first big movie is West Side okay. Story and she's Maria. Gotcha. She was casted as Snow White in the new Snow White the movie. Live, the, the live, the live action, action thing. 
Yeah, yeah I just saw they casted somebody, but I didn't see who it was. Yeah, it's Maria from the All new right. West Side Story. So apparently this girl has some chops on gotcha. her. And Will she here's dance the thing. around in Snow White yeah. like Snow in White Snow does? Snow White like uh, the fox does. Yes. What does the mm-hmm. fox say? Um, bling, 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 bling. <laughs> I was going to say, ding, 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 ding. Whatever. I knew it was something like that. Um, So I For those of you who don't know, we're talking about the fox from Robin Hood, the animated film. They literally um, take the exact uh, animation from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and use it in a the the song uh, Something the of Nottingham. King of England. Yeah. Or the, something like that. The, the, the king of England. The, yeah, the, the, like the fake one. Yeah. Fake king and of England or whatever. here's the thing. If you don't know what we're talking about and are like, oh, it seemed as if you perhaps had some language and some shared knowledge and shared history. That's because if you go back and go listen back to, to the archives. Episode one. You whippersnapper. Was that episode one? Did we do that? That was episode, episode one. Oodle Holly. Oodle Holly. Yeah. Oodle Holly, Dad. Wow. We're bringing it back. Bringing it you. back. All right. Yeah, so um, I need you to know, I watched the trailer. I watched the teaser because they haven't released a trailer yet for West Side Story. I watched a teaser, and I wrote chills, and then ah, underlined chills. twice. You are a goofball. <laughs> chills. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because you like musicals, I which I'm cool. Musicals. I like them, too, if they're done see, well. See, December. Yeah. The oh, good wait. thing about this is, is that I chills, would ah. I would know these words. Yeah. So that's and a plus. you would maybe feel like it was more fun for you. Exactly. In right. that sense. Exactly. Okay. Um did you see that they the Flash movie that they had some photos surface from the Flash no. movie? Oh. And Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne is in one of the photos. So the OG nineteen eighty nine Batman, which the Batman comic eighty nine comic Bring book should be coming out soon. Yeah, and the Supergirl. There's a picture of Supergirl has has uh, come like, out of that as like well. Like the Supergirl from the CW. She ain't blonde. She got dark dark hair. I think hmm. it's a different Supergirl, but she's oh, in that movie because this is the Flash going through the different going ta- through time. It's sort of like Spider Man or Doctor Strange in a multiverse and Spider Man and all this kind um, of stuff. Yes, and now because... DC's doing it with the Flash. And of course. Speaking of DC movies, there's a new trailer out for the Suicide Squad. And it's oh, you know I watched it. Okay, pause. Amanda Waller sucks. <laughs> We're child friendly here. Uh, stinks. Creates really large bad. vacuums. She's she's mean. A, I told you that. She's, she's like the biggest per, meanie. Perhaps a trash human, and I don't like calling people that. And that's that way in the comic book too. She's mean. She's a stinker. But uh, they flat out come out and say a giant starfish. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wrote, it's for sure, for sure. I need to just show you my notes because literally everything that we're talking about right now, I have written down because this is hysterical. New Suicide Squad trailer, Amanda Waller stinks, man. It's for sure, for sure, Starro. (laughs) Yeah, and they say that. It's for sure, for sure. (laughs) And they like shoot like a bunch of starfish at them. (laughs) And uh, Harley Quinn goes, sorry, I'm late. I had to go number two. <laughs> I had to go number two. I was like, what? <laughs> and then that guy's like, yeah, thanks for telling us. My favorite is yeah. like, what is that? What is that guy? Is he a werewolf? Is he, he's like, a werewolf. He's a weasel. You got me chained to a werewolf. He's not a werewolf. Like, no, man, it's a he's weasel. A weasel. Take it easy. He's not harmless. Well, I mean, he's killed children, but still, you get it. <laughs> yeah. So. That's so funny. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be completely <laughs> irreverent. And it's going to be watch so it and love bad. It. And I'm going to love it. Okay. I'm taking all your thunder. You, what here's else you the got? thing. That's because um, we oh, have the same. Go ahead. We, we have the same taste. Here's the thing. It. I'm what? up in here all about the Suicide Squad. I'm glad that you're all up about it because the last one, I'd be like, Dad, you have to go see this movie with me. Okay. I like the movie. It's a terrible movie. Oh, they're But awful. I liked it. Love them. Yeah. Um, but I, I loved it. That watching that trailer reminded me that I for I definitely need to go buy the new Ruby comic because I haven't done that oh, yet. Oh yes, you need to go get it. I need to go do right. that. Did you watch the trailer for Snake Eyes? I watched the first one. Um, is there? Did I watch the new one? I can't remember. There is a new one that came out. I didn't watch it. Maybe that's but what I watched. I think that we're getting. I don't think we're going to get. I think 
I mean, I'm just joking. <laughs> We're getting, it seems like, just an origin of Snake Which, Eyes. Which, dope. Um, the girl with the red hair kid, shows up. Scarlet. I know how she's aptly important. Named. Um, I wanted you to know, as a kid, I collected all the G.I. Joe comic books, and there was an issue 21 of G.I. Joe, and it just has Snake Eyes on the cover, and he's breaking into this place. So you open it, and I'm looking, mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh, look, there's no words. And I turn to the second page, and I'm like, well, I get There's no words. No words throughout the entire eyes. book. The it's comic book has no right. And he doesn't speak. I love it. It's, it was, I thought this was the greatest thing in the world. I was like, what a great gimmick. I love so it. Cool. And it ends with uh, seeing like his uniform torn and the villain's uniform torn. And they both had the same tattoo. And we were like, oh, oh no. They're, they're related. They're or they're related in the same somehow. group, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, it looks like a big ninja movie. Uh, which here for a ninja movie but so is shang chi in the 10 rings or shang i haven't watched the trailer for that yet oh you need to watch it uh you yeah Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm yep here are you ready for a big stink that's gonna happen oh no well all this time everyone who's loved comic books have called the master of kung fu shang chi and now it's come out that really that's probably not how you pr- would pronounce his name. Oh no! What is what is his actual name? It would be like Shang Chi or Shang. I don't know. It's pronounced nope. differently. Okay. Everybody always called him Shang Chi, so I don't know how they're gonna do that. That I just saw that as being a, a thing on, one of these a Marvel thing D-day underscore. Things. Okay, yeah. I've got like two more things. And Trademark I don't want to. I don't want to like just have anything else? kill ourselves on news. That's it. That's all I have okay. left. Please so keep going. Crunchyroll and Adult Swim. Okay. Have teamed up for a new anime movie called Fina the Pirate Princess, and um. I like princesses and I like pirates. I, I watched like the anime. trailer. It looks fantastic. Um. But I, it's going to come out on Fun, Funimation and Crunchyroll, and I don't know how I'll have to watch it illegally. I don't know. I, I will want to watch it um, because it looks so cool. It's about this young girl and this little boy. They were out in a ship, and the ship was sinking, and he pushes her off in a sailboat, and he says, I'll find you, blah, blah, blah. And then fast forward, she's having to marry somebody she doesn't want to marry, and ninjas drop in, and she's got to go on this boat to go this island or Is whatever. Is it an American it's, anime? No. So it's not in English? Correct. Dope. It's subtitled. I watched okay, the trailer. Okay, love that. I love, I love it. Bring it on. But it looked awesome. Okay. And then my last piece of news is this. Yes. In September, Marvel is putting out a new comic book called The Dark Hold. Okay. For why? The Dark Hold. You know, remember The Dark Hold from WandaVision, the book? Oh, you know. That I Marvel never finished, finished WandaVision. It. Well, The Dark Hold is you the evil. You spoiled me. No, I'm no, 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 no. The I Dark know, Hold is that evil book the that book. was in. Okay. Lo- that was in Agents of Shield. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah, she yeah, yeah. got and Agnes had the dark hold oh, and then no. so guess who gets hold of the dark hold? Villain. Uh Loki. Oh, Doctor be- Doom. Oh, why? Oh, but that's a fun little thing for you. Because you I love Doctor love Doom, yes. The Fantastic and he's a Four. sorcerer too. He so, is, that's a fact. So what that's happens is he steals the dark hold and uh the Scarlet Witch has to get a group of people together to help her go into the dark hold to take it back from uh, uh, Dr. Doom. So That's fun. Those, those characters are Iron Man, uh, Blade, the Vampire Hunter, Dope. the Wasp, Black Bolt, which is the leader of the Inhumans. Who that can't I love. speak. Yes. And Spider-Man. And they go into the book and it, they have to confront their inner darkness. So... Yep. That's, my news. For... that's my news Ooh, that's my news cool. that's all right cool, Leo. hannah what are you binging okay haven't been watching a lot of tv recently oh i finished a series okay i can't wait to hear about it i watched clue like the old school clue movie oh that movie is fantastic hannah me and what trev ending? watched did that you know they had different Sunday. endings depending upon there where there are three of them yeah, depending upon where you watched it when it came out in the theater, you got a different ending in different You're parts of the United me. States. No, when this came You're out. You're kidding. Yeah. <laughs> it's the coolest thing in the entire world. <laughs> so uh, so we watched all three of the endings because it was like, this, this is what actually happened. Or was it this? Oh, gotcha. no, wait, it was It's this. funny. 
And the, the it was the, hysterical. The butler is Adam Curry, the guy who Rocky uh, Horror Picture Show. In the voice of Nigel Thornberry. You're lying to me. Nope. Voice of Nigel Thornberry. That's so cool. Yeah. So you watched it. Awesome. I watched that. <sighs> and that so that's PG, right? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So PG. I mean, it's like 80s PG. Gotcha. So PG 13. P- if you wanted like to watch that PG with an 12, older kid. Maybe. I don't even would an older kid TV even 12? like it though. Or is um, it more nostalgic, you think? I had never seen it before. Gotcha. I know and like cracked up Good. the entire time. It. it was hysterical. I watched okay. a couple comedy specials. Mm-hmm. Um, Bo Burnham. Yeah, I've seen that, but I don't. It was what is that the, rated? Is it's, it's not good. It's for grown ups. Gotcha. It's for grown ups. I hear you. We won't and, watch it. Woo, man. Gotcha. Whoa, Nelly. And there was this movie. It was like Dickie Grayson, childhood star. Or something like that. Okay, Dick Grayson is Nightwing. That's the oh. original. Bro- I know who you're talking about. Lol. Yes, yes, I know what you're LOL. talking about. At least I know who. At least I knew who. Night. Sorry, I'm pulling up my phone for the Google. Do you know what uh, movie I'm talking you and the about? Flipping Google. No, but yes, I do. I don't. Yes, I do know the movie you're talking about. But I have not seen it. I had no desire. Dickie we- Roberts. Yeah. Former child star. Yeah, I watched I that. Yeah. It's it, was it was weird. Yeah. It was. It was weird. But I mean, I laughed. Well, good. Yeah. I did, um, yeah. I've been wanting to. I've been wanting to laugh at things recently. I am. Um, been wanting laughing things. And I, Ruby, Dad, you can't get Ruby. You can't get season five of Ruby. Okay. It's not on Amazon Prime anymore. Like they were all for free on Amazon Prime. Oh, but and they're now not you anymore. missed it. That's like when I watched um, Ready Player One. And I oh, missed the last no. 15 minutes. Oh, and, no. And then the the next time I got to sit down to watch it, it was a different month, and it had gone off. Luckily, my friend Adam had it, and he let me borrow the movie. I liked Ugh. it. And so, so I really, like, they're at Mistral, and I really want to know what happens in season five of Ruby, but I mm-hmm. can't watch it anyplace. It's somewhere. We'll have to figure it out. I finished Sweet Tooth. Did you? I knew that. Yes. I knew that you finished Sweet Tooth. I was home this weekend, and you were like, "I finished it." I didn't finish it yet. Did I finish it then? I thought you did. Well, but anyway, but the interweb didn't know I finished it. That's so a fact. Interweb I finished knows now. Sweet Tooth, and I like it much better than the comic book. Really? Well, it's it that still seems to has. Be a vibe. It's still, you know, I, I don't want to run it for anybody. Is but, it Jeffers or Jeopard? Jeopards. Jeopards. Um, so in the is comic book. Is he the bad mamma jamma that he is? In the comic book, he is not. If he is, he has. it hasn't happened yet. And that was at the end of the series. Um, no. Oh, so it's And I not. like that. Huh? They don't finish. It's, this is the end of season one. This. Do you want me to tell you how the story ends? No. Okay. Because I'm um, going to want to watch it. Yeah, it's, of course, a big cliffhanger. Um, so but, you think there'll be another season? Oh, if there's not, everybody's going, what's going to happen? But I really like this because it is much easier to to watch if than if they'd have done the comic book. The comic book was so depressing. Hard. Mm-hmm. He does have a couple more of those inside of his mind does he things. Mm-hmm. In the similar way of as the first episode. Um, this this he falls and like gets almost knocked out or whatever and while he's in there he has a conversation with his dad Aww. and his pubba yeah pubba. yeah Cutie. which is and you get to see more about him and where gus came from and cool um, yeah which we didn't i mean very we, cool that lore might be in the comics but we didn't get to read that much no uh-uh so we, yeah and you get yeah, you get but... more backstory on jeopards and the doctor cool. and everything so which, um yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. And you really liked it. I think it's cosplay. I'm going to get these made as orange or red and then put a bald cap on and be you said that get guy. get these made and made a My glasses. Signal. Pick, take okay. my glasses with the big red thing and I'll be the bad guy from Sweet Tooth. Anyway, yeah, so that, that was really good. I really oh, liked cool. it a thousand times better. It is much easier to read or watch than to okay. read the comic book. Um, watched um, 
Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, classic. Me and Nate and I did. And I had forgotten how many stars was in that movie. John Malkovich is in that movie. Sam Rockwell, Martin Freeman, Moe's Deaf, Zoe Deschanel. Uh, Alan Rickman, right? Alan Rickman was the voice. Warwick Davis, who, um, you know, is a uh, little person that's in a lot of the Star Wars stuff. He is the robot. He is the actor who's inside the robot. But Um, yeah, Alan Rickman. What is it? It's amazing. 42. 42 exactly 42 yeah. um 42 and i tried i thought well i'm done with sweet tooth let me watch something different so i <laughs> pulled up titans the tight new teen titan the teen titans on hbo max okay and i got like, the, two, like like what teen titans teen titans go no 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 live teen... action live action i didn't know there was a live action teen Titans. live action some people love it i oh. got two-thirds of the way through the first episode and was like <laughs> this isn't mine I don't like it. I mean, you know what? Being uh, able to quit Robin Cusson. Oh, yeah, he little, said the big. He said the big bad in the first. Oh, and I was like, why? Not my speed. No, so I just completely turned it off. I find I do that a lot. I'll watch like thirty know? minutes of one show and then turn it off. Like you I did are that with pac- to quit things. The Pacific Rim anime. I did that too. I oh, I started Pacific it. Rim was so good though, man. And oh, started watching it. the anime and then turned it off. Um, I did pull back up, started watching Demon Slayer again. Dope. Um, it's on Netflix. Yeah. So anyway, cool. there you go. Cool, 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 cool. All right. We dive in to your pool list. Okay. Y'all, if you don't know what a pool list is and have decided to tune in with us here on our 31st episode, welcome. We're glad you're here. Let me explain to you Yay! what a pool list is. A pool list is the list of comics that is saved for you by the proprietor of your local comic book stop store stop store store, store. Mm-hmm. sheller place um <laughs> <laughs> lcs your local comic book shop that owner if they know you and like you well and you have a good rapport with that person they will they like you well <laughs> They like if they well. hate your guts, they'll put them all on the shelf. If they don't like you, then tough luck. Um, they pull what you have been collecting from their inventory to ensure that your comics are there for you. So, Papa. Papa yes. has a very long pull list, and we don't have time to go through all of the things that he likes. And so he picks for us seven. He picks two from Marvel, two from DC. Two from independent comic book creator Mm -hmm. places, which tends to be what we like the best, y'all. We're really into Boom (laughs) Studios and uh, Image Comics. And then we get a book of the week. We get a book book of the week. week. We get a book of the week. Which is what Dad has enjoyed the bestest this past week. Okay. Which is a struggle today. I'm first. I'm going to throw out a honorable mention. Ooh, I love an honorable Um, mention. Issue issue three of Home came out, which is the comic book. Um, by oh, yeah. image it's just a five issue mini and it's about a a kid who's a guatemalan uh, refugee and um it turned into a full-on superhero book here oh yeah not surprised with uh just anyway so yeah um pick up home you should be reading it um and it's all right so, issue it's issue three which and there's means only that, five there's only five so would so it be best more. for people to wait for a trade to come out? Do you think a trade will come out of home? I do think a trade will come out. I think okay. if you can find them at at face value, you should get them because I think they're going to be worth some money someday. Really? I honestly, but I I can see this becoming a a movie or a TV show or Dope. something of that nature. I That's mean, it's cool. really good. Um, I want to read okay, it then when you're done. Yeah. So and, and they all come out. Yes. All right. Well, let's yeah. dive into. Um, the uh my marvel okay love that my marvel stuff is um and this was a struggle because i almost made this my book of the week but fantastic <gasps> 433 came out this is the bride of doom part two and um, <laughs> dr doom's you wedding about this bride um, of doom it's part two so funny he said anybody who comes to my wedding gets a pretty much a dr doom get out of jail free card i feel really really good because you asked me and nathan to pick two people that we think would be there and i got both of them i know yes so uh Queen and energy those people are here. who are the people there namor yes and black panther yes they were both there Dee. which is also makes sense too because they've been big Loyalty. players in 
and the royalty and they're big players in the Fantastic Four universe, pretty much. Yeah, because Namor, the, he came got, back in issue four. That, he got shaved his. He got his beard shaved. He's got off. his yeah with the fire finger. And then and we then talked about uh, tropes Black before Panther. their tropes with the Black Panther, because yeah. it wasn't a trope when it was written, but it was when I read it in my brain. Right, but the Black Panther was introduced really well, though. No. Yeah, 100%. Oh, we talked about the fighting thing. We talked yeah. about the, I have to fight you to know what you're worth before I Yes, you and now me. we're like, you go, that's just a trope. And I was like, yeah, it not. It, it wasn't, wasn't then. then. It was Again, new. If you are new, we go back and watch the old one. Before. Stop it. Okay, so listen. <laughs> so Dr. Doom's got, he's marrying this woman. Her name's Victorious. Who Victorious? Pre- yes, her name's Victorious, who in the previous issue or two issues had a, relationship with the human torch oh no so they're they're all <laughs> and it's so funny because uh uh black panther's asking namor oh so you wanted to get out of jail free card too and he goes i don't need he goes i rule 70 percent of this planet i don't need to get out of jail free card i just came here to see what's going to happen <laughs> and so <laughs> as they're getting ready to say their vows doom's bride lets it out that she had a relationship with Johnny Storm. That was a poor choice. And Namor busts out laughing <laughs> in the background. Uh, Mr. Fantastic reaches his arm all the way around everybody and smacks <laughs> him in the back of the head. And then all shenanigans break loose. So oh, shenanigans. Doom is going to wipe them all out. So, Of um, course he is. It's a fun book. I'm Because enjoyed. he can't be happy. <gasps> Dad. Mm-hmm. What? Sally says hi. Hey, Sally. Sup, Sally. That's from PD. Hey, PD. Oh, it is from PD. Sorry. Yeah. For Hi, those PD. of you watching. Yeah. Um, so another book that I got that came out last week. I got two that came out last week, but I didn't get them until this That's week. That's okay. I got Planet Size X-Men number one. You did. And it, it was wasn't a million dollars. No, it was three ninety nine. dollars So. <laughs> Dad, was it bigger than the jumbo size? It is not. Here's well, the deal. that flame. Here's why it's called planetary planet okay, sized X Men. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, what these X Men have now? First of all, there's too many mutants. There's too many. There's just 18 bazillion. But what's happened is the current guy who's in charge of all the X Universe books. Yes. Has their the mutants are now using their powers together to do other things. Like what? Well, let's say for example, you can control. You can pull metal out of things and okay. this person has the ability to create devices well now they have an endless supply of metal they can create an endless supply of me- devices say this person has to do this job but they but they get tired too too much well this mutant has the ability to heal you so that you're never tired so this person can continue to do this so this is what's happened that these mutants have learned how to use their powers in sync to do sharing is caring okay they created a planet. They literally terraformed they created Mars. A planet. They, terraformed they terraformed Mars. Mars. Where are they in the expanse then, my guy? They take all of the... Uh, Magneto pulls all the iron out of the belt of loda. The belt. The belt. To, the belt. <laughs> Everybody here it, has no yeah, idea what we're talking about. That's from the expanse. <laughs> from, they put that because they have to put more metal into the core of the planet so that it'll spin and then they have to heat it up. So another mutant that heats up metal heats it up. And then another person who can make plants grow makes plants grow. Isn't, isn't like this good. It, listen, this is all going to come crashing. It's going to be very, very, very bad. But like, Oh, so now the mutants have a planet. He's good. I don't know that it's good. Like, no, from, in, from, uh, from enchanted. Yeah. Right. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. All right, so that's planetary size X Men. That's the cool. X-Men okay, wait. Now pause. I have a planet. Planetary size or planet? No, planet size, size X Men. Because I was gonna say you got into planetary head because right. of it's you really size. liking planetary. No, it's planet size X Men. Planet size yeah. X Men number one. Because they make that's a why. they because terraform they make Mars. A planet. Dope. Mm-hmm. Um. So, uh, my independents are. Yeah. Um, Usagi Yojimbo, oh, yeah, which course. is the Ronin Rabbit, who I love, from IDW, is the um, the independent. They're I starting e- what? 
I D W independent. I don't know what it stands for. I'll butcher it. Oh gosh. You're going to flip in Google. I'm a Google um, it. So Usagi Ojimbo, it starts a new story. I like Usagi Ojimbo because I think kids could, uh, a younger uh, children could read it. It also um, does a lot with um, tra traditional or um, Asian culture, um, even though the characters are animals. Um, but uh, I love Usagi Ojimbo. It's fantastic all the time. It is great. All right. Did you find out what it stood for? Um, no. Independent distributors and artisans. I don't know. My second book is Radiant Black, issue five. Which these are two things you've talked about previously. Right. This is issue five of Image. Radiant, Radiant Black is getting a lot of hype. They're basically calling it like the new Spider-Man slash um, Invincible type comic book. Um, this had been a very... Uh, comic book that really focused on the relationship and learning how to use their powers and the two friends the one guy got powers the other friend was helping him it changed quickly last issue when uh -huh. i don't want to spoil it because i really want somebody to want you guys to go out and read it um and then issue five came out and now it's like wait a minute there are a bunch of radiants and this looks like a power ranger thing i don't know i mean <gasps> and there's a power rangers. It's power rangers it's nowhere near Aww, kitty like please. power rangers but there's people of different different sexes, ethnicities, blah, 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 that are getting these That's powers awesome. because something big bad is supposed to get Earth. So, so and that happens like in issue five. How they talk about the is it the inhumans in the shield? I don't know. What do you mean? Oh, because the inhumans. In the shield comics. Are they the Inhumans? The Inhumans in the, in the Shield TV show, Agents of yeah. Shield, where they get because powers. This one when guy they're talks, talks about like Terrigen how mists. You get powers because that's what the world needs. Oh, I don't know. They give you I don't powers know. based on what you need. This issue is, is that this this black hole that gave this guy powers is now communicating and yeah, you it's really good. Uh, that this feels, be, that feels venomy. This will be one that we read get the trade and read oh together. yeah all right so i like getting trades my two books um, wait 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 it's idea and design works is that what it stands for you sure idw idea comics idea and design works was formed in 1999 by a group of comic book managers and oh. artists that met at wildstorm productions oh wildstorm cool awesome well my my two DC books are. I, it was hard for me also to decide which of my book of the week was, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with something different. I'm gonna go with not my book of the week. So this is issue 81 of Nightwing, which has been fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. One of the cool parts in this is um, Batgirl Oracle is mm -hmm. helping Nightwing, who's had a concussion, and she is wearing a T-shirt underneath a blazer. And the T-shirt is Batman smacking Robin in the face. That's which hysterical. Is, which is from the meme or whatever, the cartoon yeah, or whatever. Uh, I know that meme. That's hysterical. So, and Nightwing is that Robin. She's wearing that T-shirt in there. Uh, the The new Robin is behind her. That makes me so happy. And, and oh, it's so good. But anyway, what happens is um, Nightwing follows this person and he like is breaking in and is I'm going to spoil it because uh, he finds the daughter of the p guy who killed his parents. Oh, no. And she's now running with the mob. He oh. thinks Yikes. that she's now the new mayor of Bloodhaven. And is she working with the mob? And he said, um, I know who you are. But no, no, no. He gets knocked out, wakes up, and his mask's off. He's like, oh, no. She's got him tied down. And she, she, he's like, I know who you are. And she goes, no, you don't. I just found out I'm your sister. Oh, no. no. So Days of his, our lives. His mom and her mom are different, but his dad and her dad were the same. <clears throat> like sands through the hourglass, so are the night wings of our lives. Okay. So, okay, question. Go. If... I was a listener who was like, yo, I like, I like Batman. I like Robin. I think I might mm -hmm. want to read this Nightwing comic. It's on yes. issue 81. 
Right, but what, what happened was they got they got a new um, creator. Okay, that took well, over. I know that they go through like arcs, right? right. So how well, do you this, know if you're jumping after, in one or starting okay. one? After DC Future State ended, they started yeah. over with um, Tom Taylor, the guy who wrote Deceased, which yeah, I yeah, got yeah. me a new Deceased hardback back here, <gasps> which He's is fantastic. beautiful. Hello, what's a brand new stories? No way. Yes, that's cool. That would have been my book of the week if I. Could. If I wanted to, but it's really long. Anyway, so I think that Nightwing restarted at issue 78, maybe. I think this is just the third issue of his run. Okay, well, so, help us help us know how to start. The best thing to do would be to start in a brand new story arc. That's what I would do. How do you know it's a brand new story arc? Do you ask your proprietor I, of your LCS? Or you can look on online. You can okay. find that out. Or, the, honestly, I would collect a comic book because I like the artist, the writer, or the character. That's okay. the three reasons. Okay. And I, Nightwing has always been okay. Um, but it's better now with this new author. I love Tom Taylor. And he's oh, also what, the what one that did. What else Tom Taylor done? We've read some Seven Secrets. Oh, Seven Secrets box. From Everybody Boom should read it. That'll be an anime. It should be. Do you think should Seven be Secrets will be oh, I hope anime? so. I hope oh. so. But anyway, so when Tom <laughs> Taylor took over, I started collecting. Okay. And literally, it's been it's been wonderful. And and most people will say, this is like one of the best books coming out right now. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, I was just curious because you have a lot that, not a lot, but a couple like Usagi Ujimbo, that's the issue like he's already finished a story arc like that's probably in the 20s oh, they've, right they've finished multiple story arcs yeah this is 20 actually um usagi ujimbo's story arcs last about four or five issues okay Maybe so we three. can we can <laughs> google and decide um from right. there where to start do we want to hop in or whatever or buy back issues and buy back issues or we can ask our local comic book shop person hey friends that are listening to this and are like comic books what um just go in and say hey I think that I might like this. Do you have it? And they are genuinely kind human beings. Yeah. And will and They'll are say yes excited or no. that you like or are interested in something that they have built their life on. And also yeah. they might make money from you and everybody likes to make some money. Woohoo. So All right. Are don't you ready be for my afraid to that? Yes. Wait, mm -hmm. you're not giving us two DCs? Yeah, but this one is my book of the week. Who's your book of the week? Oh, no, 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 wait. Oh no no I do have another. I was DC. gonna say you have you should have two. Okay, this is from last week. Okay, I sorry. gotta hurry up. Yeah, I'm sorry. Anyway, hey, I just that was I felt like an important question for our friends to be able to understand. Absolutely. Okay, but, that's all. So this is a book that came out last week, but I didn't get my DC stuff till late. Okay, so that's fine. It's Batman Urban Legends issue four, and this is like a anthology. It has like four different stories in it. Cool. Um, and one of them has been going on for quite a while. Um, Quite a while, the, aka the last three episodes. The last three issues, yeah. Okay, dope. it's it's written by Chip Zardaski. I've mentioned his name multiple times. You have, you like him. Silver Coin, Daredevil. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He is writing a book, a uh, story in here. It's Batman, Red Hood, and Batman. Oh, cool. We like Red but, Hood. But yes, and uh, this is a uh, four of six. So after six issues, it'll be done. But this gets dives really into the whole Jason Todd. I got killed by Robin and, or by Joker. And, but it's so emotionally good because mm. he realizes I can't do this alone. I need Batman's help. <gasps> and the Batman drops everything to go help him. Aww. Um, he ends up getting frozen by Mr. Freeze. But anyway, uh, Batman urban legends, the best story out. Uh, one of the best Batman stories going cool. on right now. That's awesome. Is that first one in the front. Okay. Okay. My, my book, book of the, of the week, week is also a DC book. Oh, fun. It is issue one of eight. So it's a mini series put out by a guy named Tom King, who's the writer who I love because he does strange tales. He's also doing the Catman, the Batman Catwoman mini series. Catman. Catman. <laughs> it's called Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. And oh, that's the one where she's standing like this with a sword in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. Front of, so yeah. the Super artist girl woman of tomorrow. Yes. This is my book of the week. Um, and only because I went back and read it two more times. It was so good. <laughs> um, I'm so glad for you to enjoy it. 
the art in it is gorgeous and it's all bunch of reds um because she is on a planet with a red the sun red moon red sun red oh, sun moon. so she this is her 21st birthday and she wanted to go somewhere where she could go have a drink I on mean, her 21st birthday I get that man and um no i don't i cried on my 21st birthday when i was offered a drink stop <laughs> anyway crypto super dogs with her <gasps> yay Dog. And um, Hello. what happens is, um, so this is a foreign uh, planet, and a young girl's dad oh, no. is killed. Oh, no. And she wants to hire someone to help her avenge her father's death. It's a lot like True Grit, it seems like to me. Dope. Okay, bring it on. And um, she finds Supergirl um, accidentally and wants her to help her. And Supergirl's like, Listen, man, I got to go. She's trying to get back in her spacecraft to go back to Earth or wherever. I got to go. I mean, you seem like a good kid, blah, blah, blah. And while she's doing that, the villain who the girl's been chasing all this time shoots her with an arrow. Well, she is not super. Right. And so she goes after this guy with three arrows in her. Crypto goes after him. Crypto gets hurt. The dog no! gets hurt. No! Yes. I'm, I'm like fine while you're telling me that Supergirl has like three arrows in her, but then you whisper that the dog gets Listen, hurt. Listen, the, no. the whole thing is the dog has no idea, right? He's just going after somebody who's hurting my person. And um, Oh, does this doggy die, Dad? The dog's not going to die. They ain't no. going to kill Crypto. Oh, please don't kill Crypto. No, they're not killing Crypto. It ain't going to happen. Oh, but the guy then is like, this Supergirl's still coming at him. So he freaks out and runs up into the ship just to get away. And the ship's on autopilot. It takes off. So she's the ship's, stuck. She's there. And that's how this first issue ends. So oh, no. this looks so good. The, the art is fantastic. The writing is great. There's It's a dialogue heavy, but it goes oh, we really like well. We like, we like dialogue. And... um I, I'm gonna yeah eight issues I can I can put that on I've got like five books hopping off because they're really there are minis uh, Orcs will be done Home will be done Orcs um, Proctor Valley Road will be done Cool There's like there's two more and so yeah there you go Yay I'm pull this Yeah 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 So Hannah Dad You can do miracles if you believe if you believe oh all right so we watched movie bops we watched um prince of egypt Egypt. which came out in 1998 just just fyi um other than about maybe four or five hundred of y'all i saw it before all you did no way yeah you want to know why why because (laughs) when this movie came out this was the first animated film traditional animated film put out by dreamworks Mm -hmm. and when DreamWorks was first created, um, they came to Walmart in order to put out like books and figures and um, no way. all kinds of stuff. And I was at a Walmart convention in Dallas, Texas, when because I worked for Walmart at the time. Yeah. And the the dude, oh, what's their names? Uh, I have to look his name up. Google it, you mean? Jeffrey Katzenberger was there. And he he came to the thing and showed us all the movie before no it was released. Yeah, we all no got to way. see the movie. I wish the internet would have been there then. Because I would have been like, I'd have been like, I just saw this movie. And I'd be like the first. I'd be tweeting it out all over. I'd be I'd be doing spoilers, synopsis under a different code name. I'd be oh. like Bob Turner. L O L A U. Bob, Bob Turner. Turner. Bob Turner. Bob Turner. Bob. Bob. No, I know Bob Turner. He's a cousin. No, it'd be something <laughs> different. Anyway, he's a cousin. Yeah. So yeah, 1998 animated. No. It's not. It's not computer. It's traditional animation. Dad, animated. it's amazing. Here's what? everything about this movie. Bops. This movie goes hard. It is so Prince of Egypt. It's a retelling of the story of, of the first bit of Exodus from the Bible. And it's, it's basically is, the retelling of the 1956 Ten Commandments movie. Yeah, starring Charlton Heston. Yeah, 
of them like leaving Egypt. Right. I watched that. There was a girl with like rags and she almost got smushed. Oh yeah, in the yeah, I remember that. That's when they All, were laying down the stones. I need you to know that's the only thing I remember about that movie is my <laughs> visceral fear of this woman almost getting Being smushed. Squished. I'm like, she's gonna that's get hilarious. somebody help her. She's gonna get smushed. That's all I remember from that film. Um, so Hans Zimmer wrote the music for yep. this film. Mm-hmm. And again, I cannot I cannot stress hard enough how much it bops. Um, I think we should add Heaven's Eyes to the summer CD immediately. In Heaven's Eyes, okay. I'm just saying, we'll, we'll put it on there and see what we, somebody says. That, that needs to that needs to get up on up in there, man. I mean, it's got all kinds of crazy. We talked about this before on a previous Famous podcast. Famous people, the stars. Um, so Sandra Ralph Bullock Fiennes, Val Miriam? Kilmer, Michelle Pfeiffer, Jeff Goldblum, Danny Glover, Patrick Stewart, Helen Mirren, Steve Martin, Martin Short. We did have Ra. On that that one on a uh, summer playing CD, I with think the big there. boys because that playing was Nathan's favorite. Yeah, we put that on there one year. It's because Nathan bopped to it. Mm-hmm. He thought it was the bomb.com. So this is a I PG mean, movie. It does have some it there's peril. a part in it. There's some peril. Um the animation is fantastic. I oh, love the how they so animate good. the Egyptian hieroglyphics. Mm-hmm. That is cool. That's a completely different animation style that was really than dope. what the regular is. Um, there is a thing where they, you know, it's Exodus. They did kill children. Mm-hmm. And you don't, you don't see that see happen. Anything. But you it's know it happens. Implied. It's heavily implied. Like that They're holding a out. baby by like its a, foot. And a sickle or a scythe. With a, si- a scythe in one hand and a baby in the other with crocodiles or alligators. You can, so, you can guess what that is, friends. Yeah. You can um, guess about that. You would just have to. It depends on how squeamish your kids are about what you think about that. But mm. There's a bunch of music in it, oh, which is amazing. It's a musical. Mm-hmm. What were you going to say? I am the morning and the evening star. He says that a lot. That's Val Kilmer. No He's the voice way. of God, too. Val Kilmer's no the voice of God, too. Yes, the burning bush is fantastic how it's uh, done. So good. I think the um, angel of death, I think that animation is very interesting. Ooh, that's creepy. Yeah, and it's Spooky. creepy. Spooky. Mm-hmm. You never Again, see anyone dying. You see no. a you see a kid drop. You see a bo- a, a, a child hand. walk into a place. And the you hear hand. a bowl drop, and a hand flops out the into bloop. the scenery. Yeah. Um, I do you remember me dancing to this? Yes, I didn't until you reminded me the last time. Yeah. So I. This was at a church in Winchester. Yeah, I did. I did ballet for a very long time, and. Um, I, growing up, like through middle school, I did ballet at like a Christian company and mm-hmm. we did, um, I was a person who held liquid on their head. I was a water carrier on my head because <laughs> there are people water that had carrier. like bricks and there are you people had that like water. stomped on mud and I had, I carried gotcha. water on my head with the, like a fake, fake thing. And I like pretended like I was a water person. Gotcha. Through the opening song. Yeah. That was funny. I didn't realize. You wore brown. I did. I wore a sack. I was like, what the a heck? Straight up it's sack. Brown. <laughs> it wasn't it. it wasn't that time. It wasn't the creation one, Dad. Oh, where yeah, I was a right. dirt clod. Thank you, you were very much, in creation. sir. Those were the days. Calling me a dirt clod. Did you know that um, When You Believe won the uh, best original song at the Oscars that year? Uh, Mariah Carey. Yes, was part what about of, her. Was one of the singers, man. And Whitney Houston. Yeah, they both performed it. Literal together. queens singing on that song together. I didn't realize the amount of at the Hebrew. time. Yeah, at the time it was the most successful animated non Disney film. Mm-hmm. In no way am I surprised by that. Um, I. I love this movie. As far as a Christian goes, mm. it's. You know, it is what it is. It's it's not any worse than the Ten Commandments with Charlton Heston. It's Although, pretty, it's I I really appreciated the like thing that they put at the beginning. Of what thing? I don't the, remember. Like there was maybe it's not in the DVD, but at the beginning of the movie because I watched it on Amazon, it had a this is the story of this is a story from oh, Exodus yeah. from the Bible, um, 
not everything is factual or accurate. We believe that it, um, I can't it's like true this, to the I'm story or whatever. It's paraphrasing to the story. We are proud to bring mm-hmm. something to life that is such a vital part of so many different um, people's yeah. religious Believe. experiences. And yeah, beliefs. that's cool. Because and they did a good job. The, uh, yeah. Except there are no whales in the Red Sea. <laughs> So there is a scene where he he's, and it's gorgeous. The you animation will do of the my waters. wonders. Whoosh. And the o- the ocean, the Red Sea part. The ocean goes whoosh. That's why, Dad, because we and, thought we even just thought it was the. Ocean. And uh, when they're walking through it, and there's like a lightning strikes, and there's a silhouette of like a blue whale, and I'm like, that is so awesome. And then Nate's like, there ain't no whales in the Red Sea. But I, I need you to know, when I was a kid, I was like, that's so cool. Absolutely. Of Absolutely. course, the whale is there. Mm-hmm. Like, in no way did that suspend my belief. Yes. I was like, 100, crazy? I was in it, man. I loved it. Yes, so this, this is, is a definite must-watch film for families. Um, the problem is it's not available on a streaming service. It we was. own it. And it maybe was, it will. It was, but then it wasn't. Who knows? Who knows what will happen to it? Um, it's by DreamWorks. I don't even know who owns DreamWorks anymore. Shrek. Sh- Shrek, are you funny? That's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> Shrek, Shrek owns it. But um, we watched it. I have I own the DVD, and um, Hannah, re- we rented it on Amazon. Mm-hmm. It was like four dollars to rent. It's definitely worth renting and watching. It is as a such family. a nostalgic the, film for me. The way they handle the plagues. Um, now. Moses doesn't really age like he does in the Bible. Um, Because Moses was 40 Mm. when he went into the wilderness. He was 80 when he came back, and he was 120 when he wasn't allowed to go into the promised land. Mm. So 120 years of age. And um, his relationship with Ramses, that's not his relationship with Ramses, but it's okay. It didn't matter. Well, um, also in the actual biblical story, Moses doesn't say anything. It's all Aaron. No, uh, no. Uh. Uh-uh. What happens is he says, "I can't talk," and then gets there and does the talking anyway. Oh, I thought Aaron did it all. Aaron Granted, does some, not I much. Aaron throws the stick down. I remember reading Exodus all the way through when I was in middle school. There you go. And I am now a grown adult woman. Woman, yeah. And so that is... We should go back and reread it because Exodus is awesome. Shenanigans. All right. There you go. Prince of Egypt. I'm not giving it any golden cows. Okay. Mark Painter just Googled it. LOL. Thanks, Mark. Coming in clutch. Apparently... Mink, M I N K E, and birds, whales are common to the Great Sea. Oh, well, the gr- then maybe the that's sea. what it was because perhaps it looked it was, like a humpback whale. Matter of fact, I think I saw mink Jonah mink. in his mouth. No, you did not. Perhaps I know that's way was before a, Jonah. A bird, E B R Y D E whale, or M I N K E whale. Well, good. I hope so. The animation's fantastic. I don't care. I don't care if it, just, if it was a killer whale. It was aw- awesome saying, in that movie. Guess what just happened? Thanks, Mark. Someone Googled something. I know. That's because we got peeps that love us. Because Googling Which, by the way, I want to tell Mark, thank you for letting me know that I could watch the terrible Corman Fantastic Four movie on YouTube. <laughs> and actually, the movie was terrible, but the Doctor Doom was good. Interesting. Anyway, so... Yes, I, I'm i not going to rate this movie. It's heavenly. We'll leave uh, it at that. It's a five out of five. Okay, five out of five. Yeah. For sure, for sure. You should five go watch five. it because it's, it's a, very good. Definitely plague worthy. Daddy. Yeah, that didn't make sense either. No. So we've got a little bit of time left. We did watch episode Loki. two of Loki. So spoilers. So spoilers with Loki. Spoilers um, for episode two of Loki. I don't know. It's not doing it for me. I'm a lot of people love it. it absolutely yeah. loving it i am here 10 out of 10 here for the shenanigans i want to okay. know more about morbius and the mobius mobius morbius morbius is oh, a vampire the- guy from the spider-man comic books why is my brain like this it's okay i did it too it's mobius i really like mobius i want to know i want to know i want to know about mm-hmm. Mobius and the Judge Lady. 
I want to know what the history is, what, what's going on there. Nothing. I, yeah, probably not. No, I think that right. they're just pals. I want um, more Casey. The, which the one's guy, Casey? The guy got you like a fish. What's a fish? I liked him. He I know. He's fish. like, you, were you going to, were you going to erase me? Is that what he says? Yes. Yeah. That was in episode one. Yeah. That but in episode funny. two, he finds out where the variant is hiding and they're hiding at um, apocalypse does that apop, apocalyptic disasters mm-hmm. whatever and then we get which i'm glad that they specified that it's like an apocalypse disaster not that uh, like an apoc like an apocalypse right. event right so right it's, it's like basically where it wipes cre- stuff out so that yeah. you don't so that the the time stream isn't right the sacred so, timeline right so we get lady loki which you always knew lady loki was going to be in it a hundred percent i did not know that that was happening what? I had Anna- zero clue. I had zero clue. And she took her hood off and it was a girl. And I was like, I screamed. I'm not even kidding you. I screamed and pointed at my television and said, it's a girl. And, like, and there's kid Loki too. I freaked out. I didn't know. Oh, okay. Sorry. So yeah, these are the people that have signed on for the show. You're spoiling yeah. me, Papa. Well, I don't, I still fine. think, you're fine. I still think that it's the, this Loki. I don't, I don't think she's the bad Loki. I don't know. Who knows? Here's what happens. What I've learned from Marvel is they give you exactly what you expect. Mm. Not all these crazy fan theories. I basically feel like we're on a timeline and we start watching one of these shows and somebody gets a theory and it veers off. I just want to go prune it. Prune the theory. Erase them from the timeline. Stick back (laughs) to the show. I think we try to make it I'm more I'm not watching any theories. There are no like conspiracy gotcha. theories. <clears throat> At least that have popped up on my TikTok for you page. Good, good. Um, so I'm not getting any conspiracy theories or any stories or anything, any sort right, of shenanigans gotcha. like that. Awesome. I am thoroughly enjoying this. Yeah, it's fun. I just, I like Tom Hiddleston. I, I like think him too. Him as Loki is just so much. It's just fun for me to watch. Yeah, I just I like it. I and I agree. He's there to take. He's there to get their power. That's all he wants. No, oh, yeah, one hundred and ten percent. He t- he. And he I think that. somehow, in the midst of all this, we got to get it. Something has to happen with Kang. It has to lead. I don't know who Kang. that is. Kang is the villain that's going to show up in Ant Man. Kang is the guy who is a time traveler. The okay. time travels no, through time multiple that. times. He hates each iteration of himself he can't stand. Yes, you mentioned that. Immortus, Iron Lad, Kang. I'm with you now. Rama Tut, who first appeared in the Fantastic Four comic book, which I have. And um, (laughs) so, I I mean, I don't know how you can do a timeline thing like that and not run into Kang. Mm. So. I am here for it. Something, I can't remember who, I can't remember if I was talking to a human about this or if I saw this on TikTok, but how, or if you said it, uh, but about how they didn't like the TV shows because they have no implications on the movies. And it just feels no. like they can do whatever they want and I don't, it's not going to impact I didn't, the I like didn't actual that. world. It will. They will all do that. I have a feeling I'm, that every I'm single sh- thing that they do in these in these shows will will have something to do with and the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. I will say that I did feel like that in regards to Agents of Shield. Agents of Field operated. Agents of com- Shield, they pretty much just yes, it's now it operated completely outside. They're now everything. saying it's not even canon. Oh no. Uh, anyway, but I love Agents of Shield, but. I do think that these new TV shows with the actual famous people in them and on the actual streaming site, it will be easier for Disney, Disney, like big air quotes, Disney, Marvel Entertainment to shape what they want it to be and how they want it to look and production value at a certain standpoint so that it can, everything can kind of flow and be intertwined and we will always be getting like new content yep moon night can't wait for it oh it's gonna be so good we'll have to review moon night again we'll have I'm to down. talk about him again i like moon night all right so yeah loki episode uh three will come out wednesday, wednesday. which will be tomorrow or while we we filming this on tuesday the our video this, tuesday, this will come 22nd. 
this will come out on Thursday after it comes out. So yeah. yeah. So we aren't gonna know what happens. I mean, I will. I'm going to watch it. I might watch it tomorrow. That might be fun. I might too, but I got a lot of work to do outside. Yeah. So, yeah, and I got yeah. a small group. All right. Hey yo. Hey yo. All right. End roll. End roll. Hey, sweet friends. Thanks for hanging with us. Our art is made by Nate Turner. He's my brother. He did that in Microsoft Paint, y'all. He is a super, super talented human being. Thanks for doing that for us, bud. Our theme music was created, composed, and performed by Brockwell Nason. You can check him out any place you get your music from. Um, check him out. He is a newly married man. and Send him a wedding s- present. Stuff is good. So your, your wedding present to him. He needs the monies. Can be streaming his songs on repeat over and over and over again. That's what Woo-hoo. your wedding present to him can be. Hey. Our YouTube website is maintained by dear old Papa, Big Pops himself. Which is slacking. <laughs> I put three up yesterday. <laughs> and I edit and um, upload our podcast. We are we, super yeah. glad that you're hanging with us. Thank hey, you guys so much. Dad. Next week, Next week it's a year. A year and we're going to do it Sunday this. night. Let's do it Sunday night. Okay. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Guys, all come in and join us on the Facebooker of the Lives. Indeed. For Sunday night, year anniversary. Woo! Okay. I know it. All Thanks right. for hanging with us, pals, and Thanks, guys. taking See you all the later. time to hang with us. We will catch you on the flippity flop. Bye. Bye. And our Facebook slash, yeah, Facebook slash YouTube slash friends. YouTubers. Thanks for hanging with us. See you guys. Bye. Oh, I'm waving, but I haven't pressed the button yet. Okay, bye.